Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, first of all, I want to let the ladies know, ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> Tomorrow is Bible study. I hope to see you there. Um, the link is in the a lot of the videos. If you want to join, please send me an email and I will give you the details to join. Ladies that will be in attendance, I will see you tomorrow. Can't wait to get the message out. Um, just to let you know, guys know we're going to be speaking from Exodus about the Exodus because God is your way out. And no matter what you're going through, no matter what it looks like, God will provide a way out for you to remain safe, unharmed, and your enemies will be flooded and seen. Okay? So let's go ahead and dive into what I want to talk about today. Um, I had to take my Look at my bob. I had to take my bands off because the other ones are smaller and I really wasn't going to be able to talk. So I was like, let me get this out and put my bands back in. So, you guys, I ordered some things offline, right? As you guys see, I am just laughing, laughing, laughing because the enemy has been busy today, okay? The enemy has been trying to just come in and steal. Y'all, this morning I hit my foot on the bed again. Okay. <laughs> At this point, pray for your girl. But um, I wanted to just come on and just give you guys some encouragement because that we have to remember that we serve a God who loves us unconditionally. Like we serve a God who is our in all be all. He's the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega. And just as much as we serve a God who loves us to the ends of this earth, there is also the enemy, his opposition that hates us. Okay, just being real. The enemy hates us. He hates that we are followers of Christ. He hates that we are daughters and sons of kings, of a king. Um, and he does not want to see us prosper. So, you guys, I ordered some things off of line and it was saying that um it was saying that they missed me or whatever. I got an email saying, Sorry, we missed you, and I'm just like, Sorry, you missed me. I've been home. Like, I've been home. So, it showed that they tried to deliver the package twice last night. And so, I ain't gonna lie. I was sitting here like, like, what? Like, I've been here all day yesterday. What do you mean you missed me? And I'm like, maybe because it was raining, they didn't want to bring it in. Or maybe, you know, I don't know. But it said that they missed me twice last night. And then it said that they were going to try to re-deliver it today. Because it could not be delivered. The business was closed. What business? What business was closed? My front door is out where it's supposed to be. We're not gated or anything. Anybody could get in. So what do you mean the business is closed? What business? Hmm? And y'all got to excuse me because I keep laughing because I'm just like, this is just like the enemy. Like the things that you're expecting God to do. He wants you to think that God has forgotten about you. He wants you to think that those things are happening. God's not going to do it. But I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you today that the promises still stand. God is still going to show up on your behalf and they're not delayed. They are actually waiting for you to go pick them up. The things that God has for you, the places that God tells you to go, go. Go anyway. I don't care what it looks like. And I say that to say, so I, w I just went outside to check take my trash right so i have three packages in total so one of them was supposed to come yesterday but i had not forgot all about the packages but anyways i was home i was here and so um i got three packages so one of them was supposed to come yesterday and then the others who are supposed to be here by the weekend right so the one they're like oh you know we miss you sorry we'll try again today and so i just in the middle of that i just started praying and I just started asking the Lord. So I went to take my trash outside. And so I grabbed my keys because I was like, well, let me check the mail. I haven't checked the mail today. And so um, I got two notifications, two text messages about my other packages. And then the other one still said that it was going to be delivered today. But then I got a message saying that the other one, that it was going to be retried tomorrow at this, uh, the same time as the other one. So I'm just like, okay, they're just going to deliver them together. No biggie. I need them, but not today. So either way it works. So I take the trash out and I go to my mailbox because I'm like, you know, let me check the mail or whatever. See what's in the mailbox. Y'all. The package is here. And so, in the middle of that, I had to realize, I said, Lord, you're speaking. The enemy is trying to steal the promises from you. He's trying to steal your joy. He's trying to steal your journey. He's trying to steal your sight. He's trying to get you to focus on what you see, not what God spoke. 
And so I wanted to be the one to come up to you and let you know that it's not just happening to you. It's happening to all of us. The enemy is trying because you're that much closer to your breakthrough. You are so close to your victory, to whatever God showed you or what you've been praying for, promotion on your job, restoration to your family, like whatever you are believing God for, it is here. It's waiting on you to grab it. You got to take that thing by faith. You got to hold on to what God spoke. You got to continue to do what it is that God told you to do. Be prepared. Be ready. And go look anyway. You wait on the package. Go see if it's there. Because the whole time, like I said, these people telling me that they came here twice yesterday and couldn't get in because the business was closed. And I had to ask myself, what business? I know it wasn't kingdom business. <laughs> you ain't stepping on no kingdom. What? Where's my package? <laughs> And like I said, I'm like, I was expecting it, but obviously I don't need it today, but I need it. And so I'm like, if I reorder, it's not going to be here in time. So you have to believe that they are coming and it may show up in the nick of the hour. It may show up on at the last hour, but just remember God is a provider and he will send and he will elevate you. If that's what he told you, whatever he spoke to you, I don't know what he spoke, but obviously the promise of whatever he spoke to you, is going to come to pass. And I'm sorry that the enemy is trying to get your, the, get you look at my words tongue twisted get you to be distracted but don't give in to his tactics that's all he can do is distract you in this moment and make you look to your left and to your right and think oh well it's not gonna happen for me it's gonna happen for you you gotta speak life and not death over your situation you know what god spoke to you don't let the enemy come in and the enemy knows it too that's why he's chiming in your ear that's why he's trying to take your eyes off of god he's trying to get your focus on somewhere else but i want you to stay encouraged and i want you to keep walking and i want want you to go check to see if that package is there send your prayer up and ask the lord is it here lord bye